the, the, the moms naturally, Allah has given them certain gifts. Like parenting comes more naturally to a mother. Allah has given her that gift. He just makes her nurturing, soft, caring, concerned. Just naturally. Fathers have to work on it. You're sitting at home, your child falls down. Who gets up immediately? Oh, my child. Who does that? The father? The father's sitting there, pick yourself up, child. In Urdu, say, kuch niwa, kuch niwa. Dust it off. Nothing, nothing. That's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just a little bit of blood. That's... The mom will go crazy. It's natural to her. I'm telling the fathers here, if we want our children to be raised in Islam, the first thing we need to be is their best friend. And that takes work. It takes serious work. Parents here, fathers here, you, but you guys have to get in shape. I'm serious, you have to get in shape. Not for yourself, for your kids. You're, you come home, your kids want to play with you. And you just, Abba, pick me up, throw me around, do this. You do a little bit of that and you're like, <gasps> Abba's got to lie down, hold on. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that's not how you raise kids. It, you know, taking our kids hiking, playing sports with them, taking them to the backyard. Even if they're playing video games, play video games with them. Play with them. You know, play the Wii with them. Bowl with them. I don't care. Just stuff, do stuff with your kids. It's a critical part of opening barriers. So they can talk to you about anything. Because I'm telling you, when they reach a certain age, the need to talk to someone will always be there. You would rather that person be you, not some non-Muslim friend who will give non-Muslim kinds of advice. You would rather that be yourself. You don't want to discover your child has developed another personality later on in life, because you never talk to them, and eventually you actually engaged in a conversation, or you realize, whoa, this is a different person, who are you? You've been living under my house all these years? When did this happen? Oh, it done been happened, daddy. It been happened. You just never knew. You were busy. You were busy. You have to make special time for your children. It has to be just their time. And if you have multiple kids, you have to go out of your way to make sure each child gets individual attention and time from you. No one else, you. No toys, no gadgets, no nothing. Just you. It has to be there. It's absolutely critical.